Road Battle or Ultra is a first-person action platformer where the player is given a lot of amount of time to reach the end of each level. Enemies and obstacles aim to slow the player down as they race through the levels, but the player can use a gun to destroy some of these obstacles and earn themselves bonus time in the process. Hi, my name is Alonzo Nash. I'll be talking to you on behalf of the Road Battle or Ultra team, which includes William, Sarah, and Kyle. Road Battle or Ultra was an ambitious project from the start. I created the initial pitch for the game, which focused on battling robots and resource management, but the team decided we wanted to develop something with a bit more depth. This iteration of Robot Art Ultra was meant to be a squad-based third-person shooter that just never worked out for us. The player would, nev would enter battles to earn money to upgrade their three robots and continue this loop until all the battles were unlocked. This replaced the randomness aspect found in the pitch with a stronger emphasis on player control and battle. The player could switch between the robots to react to different situations and equip the robots based on their player style. We developed a basic AI that moved enemies around the arena and shot at the player. Large characterized arenas and multiple enemy types to give the player a variety of obstacles. Due to clashing schedules, clashing visions, and a sudden drop from five members to four, we ended up choosing to scrap this version of Robot Battle Ultra in lieu of something we felt we could accomplish in the following two months. This concept failed chiefly due to the use of a state machine the majority of the team was not familiar with and a lack of understanding amongst ourselves. This left us with almost nothing to work with as we moved to a new concept for the game. With this second iteration, we knew we wanted to keep the theme of resource management reinforced by combat. So the team decided to keep the gun, but change Robot Ultra to a first person perspective. Resources were originally focused around the player's fame within the world, which dictated the equipment they could buy. But this was switched out for a timer as we pushed for a game that was demanding of player skill and dedication, bringing to mind the high scores charts found in arcade games. This retro inspiration stayed with the game aesthetic through development. We tried to channel both difficulty and time within all the mechanics for Robot Ultra, such as using moving platforms that gave the player varying options in how to proceed forward, Proximity mines that detonate after the player moves near them. Rocket launchers that fire homing missiles that the player can shoot or try to, to outrun to avoid. And even choosing to offer unlimited ammo so the player didn't spend time searching for it, but hiding this behind a reload timer to force the player to make quick decisions. A lot of the mechanics were trial and error, and most of what we created and attempted didn't make it into the final game due to the lack of time we had to balance and solve some issues. For example, when we first thought of doing a platformer, we wanted to make our weapons upgradable, but by the end we decided to focus on only one weapon to remove the learning curve from the game. Other obstacles such as shootable walls and turrets were dropped to give the team more time to flesh out other mechanics. Over the course of the project, we utilized Discord and Google Drive along with the Google search engine. A lot. As having to make up for lost time, the team as a whole found research and documentation to be invaluable to our experience. Personally, I poured hours into studying 3D platformers and seeing what helped these types of games thrive. Quite often we found the answers to someone else's tasks while working on our own, and would switch tasks to adhere to each other's developing strengths. As for documentation, keeping track of changes to prefabs and level hierarchy and our Google Drive helped the team stay organized despite some major communication problems. Discord proved very useful for conversation, but due to our group size, it was too easy for messages to get lost in chat, leaving somebody out of the loop all too often. Mixed with completely different work schedules for everyone in the team, moves, sickness, changes in occupation, and some heavy storming well into the team's development cycle, the development of Robot Ultra proved to be a very humbling and eye-opening experience for all of us. I would say we have grown to appreciate the importance of meaningful level design, prototyping, and adaptation, while learning that as developers, we cannot be afraid of the unknown, but should rather take steps to understand it prior to taking action. It has been a wild ride working on Robot Ultra, but I know that all of us have grown from it and we've learned so much.